Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X today, continuing on that Ruby grind, doing Ruby, uh, I believe, Volume 7, Chapter 7. I think so. And we're continuing because we're having super lot of fun. Got Ren and Norris, first kiss, followed by Gruesome Death. But still, first kiss, and I was super happy about it last episode. As always, if you enjoy watching with us, remember to support Ruby and Rooster Teeth by buying their products. I know I got to get better product shirts and stuff. I'm working on it. Uh, buying their products, uh, watching their videos, subscribe and becoming a first member. Check the links in the description below for more info on how to do that. And if you enjoyed watching with us, remember to like to help out the channel, comment with a critique or a compliment, either one, because we could use both of them to help improve ourselves and the channel. Subscribe to see more of our videos every day, including video games, comic stuff, reactions, and of course my music stuff under Axel Grave. Check it out, iTunes, Spotify, new songs coming out all the time. Finally, if you really enjoyed watching, check out our stuff at uh, patreon.com slash 3D where you can check out all our stuff up to a week early for as low as a dollar a month. And you even get some of them in full opacity such as these, which are half opacity on YouTube, full opacity on Patreon. Uh, yeah, special shout out to our current patrons. You guys are the bomb. We're trying to get more and more benefits to you guys as we are allowed or able to. And I think that's about it. Uh, oh, check out the Discord. Come chat with us in Discord. We do updates of all our videos there. We chat about the videos. We do streams and other stuff there. So come and check it out. It'll be a fun time. And let's get into it. Uh, no more wasting time. Talking about me. No, she's sad. Oh, the arm's going to pat her head. Aww. Why are the kids out on the street? Are they homeless? Is that congregating? So, I can get doctored footage going viral and that being taken over the commands of someone, but now it looks like they're just gonna be fighting law because they didn't check who actually attacked him. Invisibility? Ah, field invisibility. Once again, so you're conducting guerrilla military attacks. Did she just absorb that? This is the worst case scenario. More people are dead. Penny's been framed, and somehow Doc's team is sitting on the council. The second shipment for Amityville was hit today. Seems election night was the last push Robin needed to go from hometown hero to full on vigilante. I'm afraid the problem is more complicated than that. It seems Robin has emboldened our suppliers in London. They're refusing to sell us provisions until the city is inadequately repaired. With Robin redistributing the goods which he has stolen, the Amity project is completely stalled. But we're so close. There has to be some way we can finish the tower. There is. Preparing an actual route. And once again. What is he gonna do? Establishing communication and unite the world. I'm refusing to see the city's lost. Don't make it sound trivial when you know it isn't. We keep talking about how we just need a little more time, but you're not the one having the struggle. We have all had to make sacrifices for the greater good. Mantle has had to bear a lot of the burden, yes, but they're bearing all of it. The longer this waiting game goes on, the harder each day gets for people down there. And now you want to send in more soldiers? You so wouldn't have to. to fall in line. If you do that, you'll just be trading all of these problems for the grand. Please, General, I am waiting. 
I actually think Penny's wrong. That kind of division takes right into Salem's hands. It does, but he's not the one pushing it. Robin is a huge problem here because she's. Why was it even a doubt? That a long lost serial killer is loose and the military has no idea where he is. Might make things worse if things get better. I am so sick of secrets. If we just told everyone about Amity, about Salem, we can't. If we talk about Amity again, we were Salem's forces who we know are here working to sabotage us. If we tell them about Salem again, we risk falling to the Grim before we can reunite Remnant. We have to finish the tower. I want Robin Hill. He's not wrong. We can offer her a deal if she gets an anchor club. We'll figure it out. Anyone not assisting with Robin needs to focus on Tyrion. I want to know who he's working with, where he's hiding, what he's planning, and how exactly that video of Penny got all over my kingdom. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. I'm with Ren on this one. People are going to disagree with me. And it's going to have bad implications because the story writers obviously see it that way as well. But these are situations, as we talked about, world-ending situations. Shit, for those who don't think the populace needs control, we'd all be dead if they didn't keep us from collecting water and fucking up the hunting grounds. All the animals would be extinct and all of the water would be gone because humans are irresponsible fucks. Probably. Probably. Man, it's almost like secrets were the thing you kept from Oz, and that made your actions change, and then you didn't like that, but then you forced him. Huh. Hypocritical. You don't agree. Look around you. The embargo, the military presence, the restrictions on assembly. He's a bit prone to overreacting. Yeah. Hard to argue with that. That's true. So why are you harshing his options? You guys are keeping secrets. <laughs> oh, she's talking about Adam. What? <laughs> I just don't have that kind of feeling like... If someone has been that bad to me, it doesn't matter how much they were before. What do you mean she's... I mean, of course she is, but she's made mistakes. And that's also your choice and totally fine decision. But once again, a lot of this problem is because Watts is able to manipulate Robin, right? They're manipulating her opinion and forcing her to move actions that are, in turn, that is absolutely Dr. Quidditch. So now that... I could see. Soul has always been to divide us. Yes. And was exactly where they wanted her. Just like with the vital festival. Just like back then, so we could use in our own technology against her. Okay, see now the doctored footage works. That makes it work. But you still didn't check any of the wounds? Technology. Because that would have disproven any of the footage. Right. So they have a little more excuse. See, the doctored footage puts a lot of it back into perspective. Oof.
can always reactivate her again. So maybe try not to worry so much. There we go, sister stuff. Someone's purposely being held out there, by the way. He's channeling her, his aura to her. Oh. Oh, poor guy. He really is like his daughter. So that's why she's special. So another penny couldn't be created. I knew it was Watts. And he's looking angry at him because he's a piece of shit. Don't chase him if you're not gonna catch him. What's I guess they wanna talk, but they obviously are not looking to talk to you. Please stop. We just want to... Once again, they're not interested in facts. They at least they have the video. I was about to think they were really dumb, but they have a reason to believe it was Penny. Now, once again, if you even double check slightly, You're not that smart in my opinion, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, they're very trusting. I don't trust nobody. She can tell if you're lying. You're telling the truth. No resemblance. Why keep that a secret? Because she doesn't know who you can trust. Atlas isn't out to get anybody. The people murdering civilians in Mandel are just trying to make it look that way. And if those same people learn about Amity, they'd do everything in their power to destroy it. So who are they? Who's actually behind it? Yay, Blake, where are you? I can't tell you that part yet. Well, look, you're trusting me. I'd already told her to fuck off and caught her. I don't know why you would necessarily... I'm sure she'll be useful later, right? She must be useful later. Well, then... Doesn't look like that was very useful. At least they got some of the truth across. Oh no, what the fuck are they doing? Oh, uh, bringing back Osborne. So different, the foreground versus the background, those fires. Yeah, a little bit. 
It's so weird. That's true. We have to stop Zoe. Nothing is going to work. And all of his actions are also being informed by the fact they have not told him that he can't beat Salem. So he's doing all this with the assumption that this will help defeat Salem. Once again, all of it coming back again from the hypocrisy of secret keeping, which I could have gotten over, <laughs> except for it's causing problems. So, is honesty the best way or is secrecy the best way? They both have their reasons. Uh oh. The council, I guess. I want to point out once again that a lot of this could have been avoided had they taken some of the big steps from him. Now, it would have caused problems, right? Totalitarian rule causes its own set of issues. Fear, uh, rioting, uh, revolutionaries such as Robin and them, right? That is the result of totalitarianism, which if it is oppressive and, well, I guess totalitarianism by definition but if it's violent and unfair right when people are being hurt unjustly then it's rough the problem is that all of the things that ironwood are doing is doing are meant for that goal of once again putting the communications tower up to eventually try to beat salem bring everyone together and he doesn't know that it can't be done because right in this last couple episodes said not destroyed not defeated that was two so I'm waiting, because someone before had said uh, defeated, not destroyed, or destroyed, not defeated in one of the comments, and that episode right there just proved that comment wrong. So uh, we're going to be going off for now, but thank you guys for watching. I really like these ones because there isn't one right side, right? Ironwood's not right intrinsically, or even maybe necessarily right in the situation, nor is he wrong, nor is, <laughs> actually in my opinion, the only one who's really fucking up right now is robin because once again you went with the footage and i totally get that because f seeing is believing but to double check and corroborate wounds on the bodies especially all right for example right here's my ploy you check the body wounds you notice it has a very the, the stinger does not leave a wound like any other i guarantee it does not leave a wound like either his blades or penny's blades or a laser burn and so just by that, then when they say, well, they wouldn't want to say Tyrion's free and loose either, but then you at least can blame Tyrion by checking those wounds later and using Penny's corroborative talk. That doesn't mean it would be believed by the revolutionaries. They, I feel like they had already set in their heart that Ironwood was their enemy 
And so that was an easy ploy to get them to fight him, which they took. They took the bait. And that's my point is they fucked up. Uh, having said that, they're just trying to do, everyone's just trying to do what they think is right. And there is no right answers in this particular situation that are going to lead to like best possible outcome. So we're just going to have to see how they deal with it. Uh, I'll check you out next time on Reactions with X. Remember to support Ruby and Rooster Teeth. If you enjoyed watching, like, comment, check the links in the description below for info on how to do that. Check out our Patreon, check out the links to our Discord where you can come chat it up with us. And that'll be it for me. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.